Yo, what's going on guys? We're gonna be playing Formula One Karthus going full speed to make our ganks actually good pre-6 Because obviously once you're 6 you just press R and that's a good gank We went for predator chief shot eyeball with ravenous secondary rooms presence of mind And then I went cut down because their team's super tanky They had a Zach and a mord, but it turns out Zach's going AP so Probably not gonna get that much value out of cut down unfortunately Cut down's gonna do very little this game. It'd be nice if you could see someone's keystone before the game started, so you'd know what you're getting yourself into. Move on to Wolves. Karthus can consistently do pre-315 clears. He can be challenging to play if you don't know how to use his Q. It's mainly just about like weaving in auto attacks against champions and pressuring them. You can't just blind throw out Qs against champs. Against monsters, you can because they just keep walking into you. So you just put it in between you and the monster. It's pretty much you weave in one auto for every two Qs is the rule. It's the same way Cass weaves in one auto for every two Es she does. Because your Qs are much lower cooldown than your autos are. You don't have to start on blue buff. If you start on red side though, you need to use your E a lot less because your E will drain your mana super fast. Since I have blue buff though, you see me spamming it a lot. Looks like bot lane took a bit of a hit. Karma's kind of low. I might be able to get her. So we did a 312 full clear. Not too bad for being like full HP at the end of it. Get our wall down, we're gonna get up closer. Got her. That was definitely not worth it for him to do that. <laughs> that was, he just got back to lane. He's gonna miss a lot of minions. I'm surprised Jin snare doesn't snare off my wall i guess they have to take damage for a snare to snare first item we're gonna rush down boots then we're gonna go for a uh, lost chapter for the mana leandre's is normally your best item on karthus if they have melee champs or tank champs if they're all ranged then ludens is normally better because like your e applies leandre's for free but if they're not gonna ever be inside of your e then ludens is generally best we'll go top with predator we'll skip the gromp Remember, when you're on your Predator, your first damaging attack will take your Predator off and do a little bit of bonus damage. So we're going to get up in the melee on this guy like this, and then we're going to start hitting him. That way we can walk with him for as long as possible. If you immediately hit them, as soon as you're close enough to hit them, then you'll lose your speed up and it's like, what's the point? So get right on top of their heads. You can throw out your wall because your wall doesn't actually damage them. Karthus can struggle a lot against ranged junglers because it's harder to hit them with your Qs than it is melee junglers because ranged junglers have more pathing options in between your Qs to dodge. Melee junglers, like, they either move towards you and hit you or they don't move towards you and they can't hit you. So, Kindred and Graves are two of Karthus's most difficult matchups. And if you try to solo them, you basically just have to run away and throw out defensive cues. Like, you can never really go on the offensive versus them unless you're just, like, up 3k gold on them. Dark Seal is a solid item on Karthus. I don't necessarily push for it until I'm level 6 or close to it. I'll get it on my next back. I'll go bot side. Predator's about to be up. Ah, oh, Nautilus is going a little early. going invisible i'm gonna leave my e on i just kill him with my e <laughs> that's why you want presence of mind presence of mind gives you a lot of mana back so even if you're dealing with a slippery champion you can uh, pinch the kill i something i also needed to do there after he turned to fight is i needed to mix in an auto attack in between every q even though you can like qq auto qq auto 
If they're juking, you want to auto in between every Q to secure damage just in case you are missing the Qs, especially when they're low on health. Still don't have Dark Seal, that's all right. I can't afford it right now. Predator boots are back up. We'll look for the gank. Mord's level six. Eh, we're not going to go top unless he's low. We don't want to fight that. We'll grab our blue buff, get level six, look for a gank. You can also press Predator and then use your R. That works as well. I believe it targets the lowest health person anyway. So Predator works a lot like a Dark Harvest does when you use it on your R on Karthus. Imagine if it applied Predator to everybody though with your R. That would be, that'd be nuts. I didn't use Predator because I don't want him to... I didn't want him to R me because that, that could be an issue. I got it. Okay, Jax got him. Cool. So, <laughs> the whole point of Predator is getting right on top of them so you can perma-spam E and Qs and autos at point blank range. But if he's going to... Like, if I can get to him anyways because he didn't react, then I'm just going to walk up. Got him. Are they low? I don't think they're low enough for me to necessarily kill, actually. All right, I'll go bot. They got to be inside of your circle before you get the speed up, and you normally want to do it once you're already behind them so they can't escape. I'm going to use it early because they're. I think they're trying to run already. Got him. Not needs to come dragon with me. That way we can take it safely. Ooh. I haven't seen Zach all game. Where's this guy been? Get my W on him, take off some of his magic resist. He's inside of my E, so he's taking a lot of damage. He's dead. Nautilus Karthus is actually a disgusting combo. If you've ever seen boosters or EUS players in high elo, or even some NA players in high elo, they'll run a lot of Nautilus Karthus because Nautilus autos hold them still. And then you just land your Q for free. It's really gross. It's a really good synergy. We'll go ahead and pick up our Dark Seal. Thresh works well with uh, Karthus as well. Blitzcrank is all right with Karthus, but Nautilus is by far the best because even if his abilities are on full cooldown, you can just auto them and it holds them still. We'll go... I don't know. I guess we could go top with Predator here. We could probably solo him at this point. Yeah, I'll go ahead and use it. Run him down. Once he's inside of the circle. The only reason I'm queuing from a distance is I didn't want to. I was only queuing from max range that time because I didn't want him to arm me because of that. He almost killed me. I can get back full health out of Ravenous. We got that healing. Woo! We're getting back. We're gonna have to go bot lane. Bot lane's getting pooped on right now. We're gonna hold on to our E. We don't. Ooh, wait. Is she low? No, not low enough. Okay, we'll just gank this now. This was a free gank. I don't know why we're letting him go.
Got him. I'll take it. I don't mind getting the gold. I don't know what's worded, so I have to leave. Otherwise, I could solo dragon right now. I don't want to risk walking over Ward and Lily showing up, though. At least I'll get an assist for it. I'll get the dark. I'll get the dark sill stat. And if you want your R to do a lot of damage, you would just press Predator before you use it, and then your R will apply it. But there, I don't care if I get the kill or not. It doesn't really matter. I just want that sweet, sweet bonus 4 AP. Try to push into Dragon. A lot of times, if the enemy team has, like, super heavy burst, you'll go Hourglass second item on Karth. Like, if they had a Zed, I would go Hourglass for sure. Since they don't have Zed, I'll get Hourglass third item because they still have AP Zac and Ashkin burst and Ashkin super fed right now. Oh. No. Nice. They're almost in range for my Predator as well. I don't know if I actually want to go in for this, though. I'm going to walk into him. You're dead, bud. I landed every Q on him. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Karthus is actually a huge counter to Zach. Since Karthus builds max health burn items, he can kill Zach really quick. Plus, Zach is very immobile when he's on top of you, really, for the most part, to where you can land every Q and he's inside of your E. I don't know where their Ashkin is. It's making me nervous. He has vision of me right now. He gets a little trail to me. I killed a teammate of his, so. I want Dragon. I'm not going to risk dying to a super fed Ashkin for it. It's not that worth it to me. I still don't see Ashkin on the map. He's missing. He's probably. Oh, there he is. He's finally there. So, more just killed Jax. Ooh, he's staying. He's dead. <laughs> you can't outrun Predator, baby. And you can run up to them and start juking stuff out really easily. And they'll panic like he did. He just threw everything out. And then I can just stand on top of him. Take it. Are they low? No, nah, they're not low. Oh, she's still kind of healthy too. I don't think I can really kill her. If I had Predator, I'd run her down. It would be free. Taking bot. Ashkin's doing so much damage. I don't really want to deal with uh, the Zach. I don't have vision of anyone. I'm a little ner nervous about stepping up. So I haven't gone for the dragon for the same reason. Ashkin's making me nervous and I don't have a good way to deal with him yet. I don't have hourglass. We'll chill out, we'll farm it up. 
We have a huge CS lead on Zach. I'll go take his top side jungle here in a second. He won't have any way stopping me because he's got a back. Or if, even if he doesn't, he's on the other side of the map. Yeah, I'm gonna take his raptors and then I'll back and get agonies. I'll be taking this as well. I think they're coming for me right now. He's dead. Hey, let's go. Killed him before his Q could land. <laughs> it's all about the Q placements, baby. My hands are getting sweaty. My R is up, Predator's up. I can help them get the kill if they need it. Go ahead and reset. I'm sitting on a stupid amount of gold. I'll build into my hourglass now. I have Predator on for my R, but no one's going in on him. Oh, I'd like to Predator R, but I can't. That fight went bad. That fight went really do do uh, I guess I'll go lay Harold mid All right, we got a few Probably not worth though. They got a huge shutdown on me. Ashkin has magic resist and he's super slippery to hit with my Q. So he's got a little hitbox and he's flipping and flopping around like a freaking fish. Hourglass gave us a lot of value though. The stopwatch, I should say. We hourglass with we stopwatched with our E on it and things got burned up real quick. Next up, I'll probably get uh Robidon. Just round off the build. And I didn't even get to use my Herald. Feels bad. Heck, we've been hardly getting to press R this game. Almost every kill we've gotten has been just with Qs and Es. We haven't gotten any freebie Rs yet. That happens sometimes on Karthus. The games are really easy when you get to just press R for your ganks, but when you actually have to gank, that's when Predator is really nice. I should use my predator sooner. I used my predator really late there. Keep on farm, farm, farming it up. We could take Baron with two people. Aw, oh, jeez. Why is this guy so fast? Oh, oh the pain! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he kept getting shields. Like, uh, I don't know, man. He just has so many shields. He had his Hex Drinker, and then he gets his passive shield for autoing you. So hard to kill. Might just sell my mesh at this point. Yeah, I'll just sell the mesh. It's whatever. Go straight into Ramadan, and then I'll get, uh... 
Probably Void Staff. Tough game, man. Very tough. Yeah, cut down's done almost nothing because none of them went tank. I thought more of them were gonna. I thought Zach and Mord would be really tanky by now. Coup de Gras would probably have done around a, probably 800 damage by now, at least. You don't really even need to auto attack camps at this point. It's just a waste of time. Just drop Qs. And E's here and there. I think we just group up team fight and win. Just focus Ashkin. If Nautilus R is Ashkin, like we win. Yeah, we don't want to fight that. Got him. Wait, he actually just did that. Who does he think he is? I need not to... R Ashkin. Like, we can kill Ashkin, I just need not to R him. I got my Robin on now, I'll be doing some serious damage. Looks like they're still coming. Should win Dragon Fight. Jackson block Ashkin autos with his E. They did so much damage. Let's just get this dragon and get out. And just our Ashkin and we win it. Oh, Zach's really going for it here. Trying to get some one shots. Is he low? Catch you later, Mordekaiser. Ran up right on top of him, put pressure. What a gross champion. He just takes no damage from me. Because he went double magic resist. Even when I hit him with Q after Q after Q. He just takes no damage. That's rough. Ashkin so I can't cue him before I need to hourglass we need to CC Ashkin like as soon as possible because after he autos me four times I have to hourglass so if we can get like Nautilus R on him immediately I can then like triple Q him as Nautilus like cues him and autos him and stuff but like if Nautilus is CCing him and I have to hourglass because I have no health then it's like we can't kill him properly
I don't my hourglass is on a cooldown. This is kind of scary. It's awarded. They could be on Baron right now. Looks like they're not. still died what a joke my hourglass was up in two seconds i'll go ahead and just r try to deter them from fighting my teammates ah oh, man full ap zach's got some burst oh i think yeah he just flashed we need heal cut <laughs> get him boys kill him it's so dumb, man. Ash is so much damage. On just his autos. It's almost like fighting... Ashkin's like a noob version of Draven. He doesn't have to manage spinning axes, but his autos do like as much damage as Draven autos. It's so weird. It's so unfortunate. We are very close to Void stuff. Just need like f six, five, five fifty more gold. Zach can't kill me at all. If my, if my hourglass is up, he'll kill himself trying to kill me. 100%. Yeah, this guy scares me. He's got the... Ooh, that's worded. As we group up, we'll take dragon slowly but surely. Oh, he's going for our base. That's so annoying. He can kill Jin instantly. Jin can't really walk up. We need Dragon. He's probably just shoving mid and then he's gonna come over here. He can't really go for the turret because Jax puts too much pressure on it. He's just shoving waves. He's trying to stall the game. Yes, kill him. I can't hit anything. They're all moving. <laughs> At least we got him. Nice. All right, not bad. Did they get revived or something? Oh no, okay, Zach, Zach just died. Oh, good game well played, I guess. I think there, Lilia ended up quitting on them. She got really flustered, dying from ganks. It's actually amazing how little damage you can do to 80 champions if they have double magic resist. Even though I'm like ridiculously fed, since Ash can build Wits End, Ma, and Mercs, I just can't hurt him. Just can't. With that being said, even if Lilia didn't AFK, she'd be really useless right now. One CC, one CC and she'd die, and I'd just counter her so hard. I do way more damage than her. The only reason they're in this game is literally just because 80 items are overpowered. That's it. I can kill everyone on their team at the same rate with my E, but I just can't kill Ashkin. Askin. Askan. Akshan. Holy shit, what a name. I'm saying it wrong this whole time. Okay, predator time, baby. Get her slow on him. We're gonna walk into him. We're gonna cue. Blue smite it. He's dead. I love predator. 
How is he supposed to outplay that? I gotta get. I gotta run away. Ask Can's gonna get me. He's gonna auto me three times. I'll, I'll kill him nine times and do half his health, and he'll auto me twice and I'll die. <laughs> All right, level 18, full build. I could get an elixir. Can we just like group and end? I feel like it should be so easy. Just focus Ash, can Nautilus R on him and we kill him. You're dead ass can. Oh, he got a shield. Why did he get a free shield? Did you see that? I know he gets a free shield just for auto attacking you because dude, autoing be hard. I didn't realize he got a free shield for pressing R though. That's incredible. Oh man, that champion. Well, that hurt. I'll take it. If I if I can set up kills for my team and we get multiple of the enemies and I die, like it is what it is. It is what it is. So check it out. Leandre's is done. It's done. Wow, it's done like uh, six thousand damage to champs, and my demonic's done two thousand. That's quite a bit. Yeah, AP's act is a lot of damage if he gets on you. If he actually lands his E, you kind of just die as a squishy. We'll get our Elixir of Sorcery. Push for this next dragon. Their Ascan is dead. So most likely they can't stop me. I can just move around the map. R is doing a thousand damage. Wow. That seems balanced. A thousand damage to five people. So my R does 5,000 damage essentially. That's kind of neat. They can't dodge it unless the, they got like Vladimir Bloodpool, Fizz Troll, Pull, Shaco R, or uh, Hourglass. They actually have to have some way of dodging my R since it's not obviously not a skill shot. If Shaco times his R properly, he can dodge like anything. He has to time it right. And the thing is, if you're good at Shaco and you have good internet and a good computer, you can consistently dodge stuff. It's only hard if you have like a like a bad setup. I got Predator on, bitches. You can't outrun me. Get our wall of pain down, run right into her, and she's dead. Dude, I love Predator. If I didn't have Predator, I couldn't have done that. That's the power of Predator, baby. Throw out the wall, wall doesn't proc it since wall does zero damage, you just run right up into melee mode. I'm under the turret. GG's. If you guys enjoyed this Predator Karthus gameplay, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Listen.